Now, for the purpose of this talk, right, um, we're going to refer to full material declaration and full material disclosure as the same thing. Basically, uh, we're disclosing, we're declaring, doesn't really matter. It's still an accounting of the full substance and material content of our part of material. Um, so what is an FMD used for? Well, an FMD is used to disclose the presence of restricted or reportable substances within products, parts, or materials. And we do that to report this information to our customers, to other supply chain actors who maybe aren't even our customers, um, people like distributors that might want that information or any other uh, actor in a supply chain who's asking us for it, or just generically making it available to the public as part of our environmental policies, right? It's also, these things are also used to transfer this information between platforms. So for example, if I have Greensoft's Green Data Manager compliance tool, and I have a substance database built in that tool, and I would like to transfer that information into my Agile uh, PLM system or my Oracle um, or SAP system, then I can go ahead and use the full material declaration reports to simply transfer that from one system to another. The, the main key though, is that we're using these things to, in support of validation to various product environmental compliance requirements like EU Rojas, REACH, TSEA, that's the purpose. So from our context, when we're generating full material disclosure, we're doing it with the idea that we're making a disclosure to support whatever regulations we feel are relevant to our product. When we look at the electronic supply chain, you see um, component manufacturers are typically working with material suppliers and they're coming, getting materials directly from smelters, fabricators, or chemical providers, also simple articles. And they're taking those and combining them and fabricating those into components that are used in final products. And then, and then those products are sold to the end product producers who are producing automobiles or medical devices or cell phones. Right. And in order for every one of these supply chain actors to meet their obligations, they have to understand the substance content of the materials that they're working with. And by using the full material declaration approach, we can ensure that that information is being transferred through every supply chain actor so that the component manufacturer, the end product manufacturer, any other supply chain actors in between, they have the information that they need to make uh, um, declarations or to understand whether or not their products actually comply with certain regulations. The component manufacturer can't tell you whether or not they have a warning need for Prop 65 unless they know what substances are present in their component. So that's why they need this data from the material suppliers and the same with the end product producers. The full material declaration just facilitates that communication of information. Learn more by viewing the full length video online at greensofttech.com slash videos. Plus, learn about our environmental regulation solutions online at greensofttech.com.